So the world of Grounded is possibly one of the largest things out there. So of course there's plenty of myths and rumors about what you can and can't do. And this lovable little scientist, well, he's gonna solve them all. Oh, my lady. Actually, very convenient you're here, ma'am, as myth number one is that ladybugs let you ride on their back. And you know, I'm kind of feeling like I'm in a five-star Uber right now. Where are you going? This is, this is a detour. And she's, she's stuck. All right, I'm dizzy now. We're, we're going backwards. This is, <laughs> I think that counts as myth proven, but still a three-star ride. Quickly, on to the next. For this next myth, I've climbed to a beautiful peak and grounded. I mean, look at this. But I'm waiting for a big old bird to be right here however long it takes three days later all right it's been three days i'm out of here this myth asks the question can you actually attack the bird and the koi fish the two mega titan bosses as far as attacking the bird you can kind of swing at it but it doesn't do damage and just force field pushes you away i'm gonna have to touch her feet hello miss pro no i can't get near you i that i'm stuck help game help i'm <laughs> she has such good magnetic charisma oh she tossed me off the log all right sorry so that one's a big fat no cannonball come here trudy she is actively swimming away from me come back hello trudy can i oh yes every time i hit her she lets out a weird little groan so i don't know myth kind of proven kind of false whatever on to the next which actually involves rascal rogue and this black ant shovel where'd you go trudy come back to me i love you baby i'll never make those same mistakes again until about a week later when i make those same mistakes again this myth claims that you can actually steal koi pieces from trudy as long as you have rascal rogue on and use the black ant shovel but i am digging in there and i'm gonna assume that the theory theory here is that the shovel scoops out the koi scales, which sounds incredibly painful. And seeing as I just hit her 12 times and got nothing, I'm gonna give this one the big fat liar stamp. Stupid myth. The next myth is gonna utilize this big beauty. It says that you can't do damage to the mant gong no matter where you hit it and actually kind of seems to be true. How about a splitter arrow though? Is that? Ah, see. I figured out a way. This means myth busted. Although it'd be cool if arrows didn't do damage. Could you imagine having like a little thing where you got a bop? Grounded devs? Question mark. What do we think? Quick to the upper yard. This myth is for all you grounded speedrunners, which is actually a really cool idea. Someone become an official speedrunner. But it claims that you can break these ever cold charcoal chunks without actually using the hammer. So we're going to do two myths in one. Question. Yay. Chuck this bra burst over there. Do you break, buddy? Nope. Answer, no. And another myth was that you can pick bombs up after you throw them, which is actually proven. Wow, sweet. Although I feel like I've done this a few times to save my butt. I just have goldfish memory, so. Brat Burst didn't do it, but how about Splat Burst? They're technically a tier higher. And yeet. Go ahead, just whenever you're ready, buddy. All it is is... Oh, what? That actually broke it? Dude, myth busting. Sweet. This one? Proven. Keeping in line, I assume a bomb arrow will also break it. And so how about one of the new blasters? Yes, this will too. Wow, farming's never been easier. And now like me, whenever I was a three-year-old and had nothing better to do, time to go shovel sand in my mouth. That kind of also explains the way I am. Yeet, thank you leaning shovel. Never gotta use a bra burst again now that I've got this pulsating egg was my nickname in high school if i remember right now this next myth i'm gonna need some silk rope because i still need to zip line in oh no wait it's already there take natural explorer off pop a handy timer on the screen and start zipping because this one wants to know if it's actually faster to zip line with natural explorer on than just normal and so by the time that i detach i'm somewhere around 11 ish seconds don't have the freaking zipper upgrade so now i gotta run all the way back so now natural explorer is on i also have aphid slippers Pull the timer up and let's begin. It's a good thing I enjoy how fun zip lining actually is. Which, stopping the timer, it's literally exactly the same. Who suggested this myth? Y you're banned. You're banned from everything. This gets the stamp of loser. Mm, delicious sand. Anyways, next myth time. Get peeped, idiot. This one states that killing five creepy little antlions guarantees you the gold card. Well, the five in the holes, that is. So just do this real quick. One down. Give me your body. Ah, this feels good. Three. You make my fourth. All right, buddy. You'll be my number five. Give yourself a pat on the back, but with a venom dagger. Thank you. And this card isn't gold. 
So, looks like I was lied to again. Myth failed. And I need to use this little antlion buddy for my next one. Thanks for dying, friend. This one states that when the sandbox is sizzling, you can stand in antlion shadows and get protected. This is actually extremely helpful. Break his corpse apart. This is good. This is, the, wow, what a cool little thing. Myth proven, sweet. Uh, Shadow, Shadow, where are you going, buddy? Oh God, oh, we're back, it hurts. Wait, are you doing a little dance? What was that? Next myth, we'll use this sleeping idiot here. Get a butt smack, buddy. It states that the third attack and a wolf spider's combo is fake. One, okay, that wasn't your, do the combo. Just give me the number three. That's, well, maybe I shouldn't perfect parry it, actually. Here, just attack me instead. Not like that. Do the combo. Oh my gosh, it actually is. Wow. You can still perfect parry it though, which is interesting, but it didn't do any block damage to my weapon, meaning myth proven. And now before I leave the sandbox, let me just get a little bit of damage. That's fine. And now the thought is that you can heal by swapping to meat shield, taking it off, putting it on, taking it off. You get where this is going. I've been doing that for a while and my health has only gone up because I have natural regeneration. So I'm gonna go with that one's not true. Now this next one, we gotta go up. Cause this myth wants to know if you can actually get into the gutter on top of the house and thanks to my beautiful custom mode i can just climb up with clover roofs get up okay well i mean the inside of the gutter is kind of see-through but wait are those all the fireflies that's interesting all right jump where the gutter should be i'm going to the house i'm going to the gutter you know what perfect question i'm falling from a height of a lot of steps and this myth wants to know that if i put daredevil on do i survive because it claims that with daredevil active you can never die to fall damage, which 100% that's true. Are you kidding me? I just fell off the freaking Chicago skyscraper or whatever thing. Empire State Building. I'm thinking of the Empire State Building. Falling myth. Proven. And now I'm gonna take this termite axe and chuck it. This one says that Throwing an axe straight up and then back down on yourself will do damage. But alas, here I stand, undamaged. Give it one more throw. Survey says, nah, that's a lie and I'm completely fine. Yeet. Hopefully that hits some random child. <laughs> this myth is so stupid. Walking into an electrical outlet instantly kills you. Let me rephrase that. Walking into 200,000 volts in your one centimeter body results in you dying. You really need me to test this one for you, huh? Electrical. What plump lips you have. I just, I just want to dive. Mm, yeah, yeah, it kills you. Why would that not? Who suggested that? And now here I have a little something called decoy bait, which you're supposed to throw and then most creatures will kind of go towards it and gobble it up like a little fatty, huh? A little fat ant, huh? That which you are. I'm a little fat girl. Hey, buddy. That's okay. It's important to be happy rather than focus on superficial things like appearances. Are you going to keep eating this thing for years? Like, and you're done. You're leaving. Okay. Wow. Well, I, I made him feel bad. Sorry, buddy. You're beautiful. All right. I'll see you. So now this myth asks the question, does decoy bait heal bugs? Get punched, buddy. You're down a little HP. Go get it. Go fetch. Are you... Are you eating it? This feels like you might be- Oh! I think like a couple of you guys are eating it. Oh, I, I hit him with one. I'm sorry about that. Guys, you're not eating it on my screen, so I'm finding it hard to believe that you actually are, but this guy didn't gain any health back either. So I'm gonna go with no. This doesn't heal any bugs. Myth disproven. Here guys, eat this one. Trust me, it's delicious. <laughs> one of our next myths states that if you place this water droplet container underneath a source of water, or I guess any form of droplet, whenever it drops, it should just go right on in. So I'm just gonna place a bunch of them around to try and catch this juice. And I'll come back to you in a bit, because to test one of my other myths, I have to go fix this stupid laser gun. Get off it, stupid mites. Skip, 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 I know what happened. Skip. This myth says that grass planks, well, as they do damage, can do more if you put guard dog on. Why that makes sense? I don't know. I also, I don't think this works. I think you're just a liar. How about if I throw multiple at once? Here's four grass planks. <laughs> yeah, it was like a little cane. We're gonna go with not true. Now what I'm about to do might seem crazy that by turning the mant to his smash pose going to a minute and 53 seconds standing on his antenna kind of up against these stones that if you reset the pose to none you can go flying where did i go oh all the way over here oh my god <laughs> what and i made it in this tiny hole that's gotta be worth like 5,000 points <laughs> What is that? That one might be my favorite myth so far. Proven. And my beautiful drawn star seal of approval. I need to get back over to the bird bath. So I'll just, you know. <laughs> 
this is oh look at the height i got on this one this is so crazy uh guys guys i'm i'm out of the yard i guess now's a good time to go into grounded myth whatever number i'm on that asks can you go over the fence without dying um yes question mark i've got daredevil on and I've still also yet to hit the ground, but survey says, oh, I'm, I'm through the world. This is, okay. I think I'm ascending actually. No, no, I'm not. I'm just dead. Do that man launch at your own risk. <laughs> Now this one is actually perfect since I'm in the area. It asks the question that even when blocking, if a mosquito hits you, it'll still fill up its blood sack off you. Well, maybe not when you perfect parry. Oh no, it works. So yeah, myth proven. What do you think you're doing, idiot? And the other reason why I'm over here is there's a myth that says when items are stuck in the water, like so, and you can't really uh, chop them, that by swimming and then doing a back kick, kind of just full on soccer balls it. That's... <laughs> Why is it so high? And here's the pass. My ego's taking over. Go. <laughs> and now you can just claim the berry for free. Fun. So yes, myth proven. And enough time should have passed a, a juicy, delicious, sugary, sweet little droplet of flavor. Should have fallen out of this dang straw by now. Did you end up in any of my water things? No. So I'm going to go with placing a water container underneath a juice droplet. Doesn't work. And instead, I'm sad inside. Our next myth is going to bring us into the world of haze just because it asks the question of can you do a super mixer without actually killing any bugs and so after shooting some gum down with a bomb arrow it looked a little bit like that just because i need to plug this hole gross skip 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 i've seen it now i've got myself a nice little mixer right here ready and so now i'm currently doing a pro gamer tactic called spam walls ash walls have the most defense out of anything else they're also incredibly expensive i think this should work fine start the mixer the thought here is that there's no flying infected creature to come try and break my stuff and so even if they start to try and break the walls down there's about 500 layers of them although i i did not think about the aoe explosions that's fine what if i just throw some decoy bait around this guy's also been decimating this wall and it's not even halfway there oh but now the infected ladybug is here who shoots a whole bunch of little explosive things that might not be good whatever guys just keep doing your best i'm gonna run to the bathroom while you guys do this so have fun. A few minutes later. Well, I'm back and we're a little over halfway and they're still on the same outer walls, but they're actually about to break. So how about we go bust another myth while I wait for this to progress further. The alternate universe version of me is currently standing still on some ash walls. So I need to go stand still on a field station because this myth says that this thingy only spins whenever you're actually looking at it. So if you were to stand on top and then look up, it's done spinning. Does this kind of, yeah, you can kind of see in third person that it's fully stopped. Look down, it spins. Look up, fully stopped. How people notice these things, I really have no clue. But myth proven, I guess. So there's three ladybugs. Everything's kind of just going at it. And I realized I just did so much work to place seven layers of walls. I didn't even need to, just two. I think two ash wall layers and this would have been fine. Every one of you leave. You all need to go home. You suck. Not, <laughs> not one casualty suffered, except for those idiots who blew themselves up. So can you defend a mixer without killing enemies? Yeah, pretty easily actually. Had to make a new world cause I have no mutations now and I'll be needing a lot of splobbers because this myth states that you can unlock the grass master mutation without actually chopping the blades of grass just by throwing a bunch of splat bursts eventually you just kind of get it and wow well, what do you know that's gonna be proof <laughs> why you would throw splat bursts before you even have grass master unlocked i don't know but hey everyone plays the game different so there you go now this myth is one that i'm not happy to be testing but it asks the question that if this sickly roly poly here were to be punched once it doesn't really do that much damage but let's try the termite so that's a decent little chunk that goes out. But now if we place the roly-poly mount, it should deal more damage to him. Or at least that's the myth. And oh, survey says, yeah. So, I mean, it took four hits to even get through that first little bar and four off that practically double. All right, buddy. I'm sorry about that here. Come on. Come on. Back to full health for you. So that'll be myth 
proven. And now if you remember earlier when I said we actually need speedrunning stuff to occur, it's time for something like that to happen. Just a moment, I find a dandelion. Where are you? There you are. Yoink. Come on, friend. This myth that would help speedrunners asks, can you get into the Black Ant Lab without any bombs and why is there so many Apple and Billy Hog bites down here? No wonder my game doesn't break 200 frames. Got a pocket of 700 little entities rendering in. All you have to do for this one, it seems, is come up here in this nice little area, line up at the top of this rock, and give it a good shift, run, and jump, and jump again. Let's you parkour up onto this tunnel, which you can then just get right over here. And then in one of these chests, there's guaranteed to be a bomb in it, which will let you open up the assistant manager's lab. Or if you're like me, you can get stuck in this little crack. I'll call for help, but answer the only things that can hear me, so it looks like I die here. Yay. Why does it end up like this? That was all the myths I have for this video. If you've got any more myths you want me to try and bust, leave me a comment down below. Until then, I'll just be hanging out with my little firefly friends. Hey guys, this guy going for like a high five or is that? No way. He's dunking on him? I like it up here.